started having some pain in my lower back and, and gluteal region in uh, June of 2014. And I was seen by specialists, uh, neurologists and orthopedic doctors, and uh, everyone had a different diagnosis for me. She basically said to me, I've seen a couple doctors, no one knows what's going on, but I think I have claudication. Then I saw Dr. Mubarak, and he saw that I had no pulses in my leg, and sent me for a CT, and the CT scan showed a femoral clot in the artery. In a way, it was a relief, because I had been complaining of what was actually classic claudication symptoms. I wake up with burning in my toes, and we live in a tri-level house. Trying to go up and down stairs is, is the most painful. It, at times, it feels like someone is just taking my leg and squeezing it. And it's frequently seen in patients who are smokers, diabetics, hypercholesterolemia, um, uh, problems like that, usually. I don't smoke. I eat very healthfully. I don't have I'm not a typical peripheral arterial disease patient. We essentially performed, I think, five to seven surgeries in total. Every time they put a different type of device in, I, I clot in the same area every time. And so she was stuck. I basically was told I will never run again, I will never ski again, I will never hike again. I'm a runner, and I had happened along seeing several of the people who run with blades on. And the, the, I noticed that these were, you know, amputees who could get a pretty good velocity just in, a, in using a blade. I ended up running into Zach um, because he had come to a lunch to, you know, explain some of the things the prosthetist could do. He said, you know, I have this patient and she, she had a blood clot. She was a really active runner, uh, wants to get back into triathlons and she can only run for about 30 seconds, but what do you think about taking a blade, like a prosthetic blades, and attaching it to a shoe? And he immediately said, you know what, I think I could do this. Got a blade, spliced her brand new shoe apart, and made the first iteration, and it worked. The first time we tried it on Dana, immediately she was like, my claudication's gone when I walk. This is our sixth iteration of the product, and I just ran half mile. excited because we're on to something and we think that it's going to benefit more people than just just Dana. At this point the device can take a clodicant and make them no longer clodicate. I was told for five years there's nothing we can do for you. There's nothing we can do. You are stuck in your body and we can try another risky surgery or we can try a clinical trial drug and right now I'm off all my drugs and this is all I'm doing and I feel amazing, so pretty psyched.